Harper says, what would China have to do to have FU money, metaphorically speaking, apply to a country bringing about to do what they want without worry about backlash, besides initiating force? I mean, this is the catch-22, if you will. To get super rich, you have to trade. Trade makes you um, interconnected with others who you might not particularly like. Trade makes you, you know, dependent is the wrong word, but trade, you have to trade with somebody. So for China to get rich, it has to trade with the United States and Europe and Africa and South America. It can't just trade with poor countries. It can't just trade with Russia and India. It, 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 there's not enough demand there for there to be enough wealth created in China. So the only way China can get a few money is by trading. But trading makes it very difficult to go to war with the people you're trading with. It makes you immediately susceptible to those people deciding not to trade with you. And this is true of the United States. This is the whole idea of, oh, we're, we're, we're delinking. We're, we're, we're going to be self-sufficient. Well, yeah, you can be self-sufficient and poor. You cannot be self-sufficient and rich. And that's what people don't understand. So if you want to be rich, you got to be willing to trade. And including trading across borders and, 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 uh, and, and trading with, with all kinds of people all over the world. And that, that integration is what I think preserves peace, or part of what preserves peace. Ayn Rand talks about this in The Roots of War. And uh, if you think about Russia, one of the reasons Russia is poor and one of the reasons Russia is um, violent is willing to engage in initiation of force, is willing to engage in war, is because it's not a trading nation. Yes, it sells oil and gas, but it doesn't produce stuff. It doesn't innovate. And it doesn't, it's not dependent on these external markets. It's dependent on natural resources. And it's a completely different mentality. And it stays poor because you cannot become rich off of natural resources. No country ever has. So it's really interesting that if you, if the Chinese ambition is to get rich and not have poverty in China and all that, it has to stay open. It has to commit itself to trade. It doesn't, even with 1.2 billion people as a population, even though that's going to start shrinking. You cannot be successful unless you trade with other people. You cannot be successful unless you're innovative. Innovation and trade open up societies. They're forces against the authoritarianism. And, and I think that's why I think it's worth being optimistic about these things, is that I don't think that, that China is going to dominate America because the only way it can become rich is becoming free. And if it becomes free, we don't care how big it is. And if it's, if it's unfree, then it can't get that big. Um, so I don't know how much it would have to have to have a few money. Uh, it's far away from that. If you think about how much the United States spends on military, it's, sign it's four or five times more than the, Jap the Chinese do. We have a significantly better uh, army, uh, military. We have better technology. We have better innovation. Uh, China is not yet a match for the United States uh, militarily. But, and the only way it can get there is by becoming more free. And if it becomes more free, I don't fear it. Uh, the Rush, the China I fear is a China that's isolationist and, and not integrated into the world economy. But that China is not rich. So it's, it's, it's kind of pretty cool how reality works. Right? Reality rewards virtue. And if you're going to engage in vice, i.e. socialism, authoritarianism, you're not going to get rich. You're not going to get rich.
Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.